Flight service stations provide a range of essential services to pilots, both before and during flights. Understanding flight service station frequencies and how to use their in-flight services is crucial for effective flight planning and safe operations. Remember, 122.2 MHz is the primary flight service station frequency. This is the most commonly used frequency for contacting flight service stations while in flight. It's available almost everywhere in the United States and is used for a variety of services, including weather updates, position reports, and requesting information. 122.0, on the other hand, is called EFAS or EFAS or FlightWatch. EFAS stands for En Route Flight Advisory Service. Known as FlightWatch, this frequency traditionally used used for real-time weather updates while en route. Although now consolidated, pilots can still request in-flight weather briefings on other flight service station frequencies. 123.6 and 122.1 are some additional frequencies often used by flight service stations, particularly when 122.2 is busy. Some regions have specific flight service stations frequencies listed on their VFR sectional charts or within the chart supplement. 121.5 is the emergency frequency. It's used to contact flight service stations or ATCs in emergencies. It's also monitored by flight service stations for distress signals. Flight service stations can rely on PIREPs or pilot reports to pilots providing first-hand weather observations from other aircraft in the area. If you need to file a flight plan after departure, you can do so through flight service station. You can also open a VFR flight plan once airborne. Pilots can amend their flight plan details or close a VFR flight plan upon arrival through flight service stations. Flight service stations can provide information on NOTAMs or notices to air missions affecting your route and or destination, including temporary flight restrictions or TFRs. You can use flight service stations to receive updates on special use air airspace, example MOAs or restricted areas, and how they might impact your flight. If you encounter difficulties or have not closed your flight plan, flight service stations plays a key role in initiating search and rescue operations. So remember, during a cross-country flight, you can contact the flight service stations on 122.2 MHz to check for updated weather information or inquire about TFRs or NOTAMs, anything along your route of flight or your destination. In an emergency, 121.5 is your go-to frequency. If you love the overly technical lessons and the dry humor here on YouTube, you'll absolutely love my online helicopter ground school. I'll walk you through everything you need to know to become a helicopter pilot, minus the sarcasm. No, actually not. Yeah, there will be sarcasm. Head over to 3gheliprep.com and get started today.